I'm at Ballymore in Brisbane, spiritual home of Queensland rugby. Many Reds and Wallabies have graced the playing field here. And today I'm going to catch up with one of the greats from the late 60s and 70s, Wallaby Hall of Famer, Jeff Shaw. Good nice to see, to see you. Mate. Good to see you, Clarkie. Well, this place must bring back some pleasant memories for you. It certainly does. I played my first uh, New South Wales game here in 1969. It was the final selection trial for the Wallabies to go to South Africa, and I was fortunate enough to be selected in that team. Uh, in 1974, we beat England here with the famous Battle of Ballymore when uh, Mike Burton was dismissed from the field for an altercation, and we also beat the All Blacks here in 1980 with the Queensland team, so a very, very fun memory. Smith getting straight through down to the 25 to Shaw. Shaw, 15 yards out. You made your test debut against Wales, 1969, as a 20-year-old. What do you remember about that? Uh, well, I was a baby of the team. It was a match we played before we went to South Africa and the day before we left for South Africa and Phil Smith was my centre partner who'd been around for a while and uh, we uh, formed a combination on the, on the particular day. I was a young kid from the bush, uh, Sydney cricket ground, large crowd, hadn't been anywhere but Chittick Oval down in Kiama and I was quite overawed by the whole occasion. Quickly out of the scrum, it comes about to a wild pass this side, over to Shaw, and Shaw, Shaw's still going, he's a hard man to pull down. What were the highlights for you? I would think, you know, the highlights uh, during that particular period of time was seeing the development of Australian football uh, teams. You know, I've got some great friends and uh, people that I correspond with overseas that I still keep in contact with. You are a bit of a maverick, weren't you, because you were well-travelled, which was pretty much unheard of in those days, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I took a punt in 1972. I started playing with Crusaders and I played for the Eastern Province. And we decided to see the season out. Uh, we made the final of the Curry Cup that year and lost to uh, Transvaal in the, in the final. Then we moved on to London. I played with London Scottish for half a season. And then we went to Europe for three months. And months to my wife's amazement, uh, I took my boots with me. And I had a couple of games in Toulon on the way through. You've been inducted into the Wallaby Hall of Fame. That must have been a proud moment for you and your family. Yeah, terribly unexpected. Uh, I've spent you know, a lot of my uh, post-playing life involved in rugby and working in rugby. I've been very, very lucky to be able to do that. Uh, it was a proud moment for me and my family. Um, actually, I'm going to put it Sorry. <laughs> um, my, my daughter actually came to me at the end of it and said, I didn't realise you were that good. So it was, it was very emotional for, for me. and. A quite a proud moment. Obviously means a lot to you, Jeff. Treasure it. Not everyone is inducted into the Wallaby Hall of Fame. And you're still involved in the game nowadays, occupying the office at QRU headquarters here at Ballymore. What is your role in the classic Wallabies? Well, I'm actually the program manager, for want of a better word, uh, and it's my uh, job to, to, to try and keep the database together, to keep contact with the players through uh, the former Wallabies, through uh, various newsletters, etc. Uh, we had a declining database uh, a number of years ago. We've built that back up to uh, basically having contact with 420 former Wallabies that have uh, played the game, capped and uncapped. Jeff Shaw, thanks for your time. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for everything you've done and continue to do for Australian rugby. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Clark. A pleasure. To